be the Philadelphia 76ers going up against the Boston Celtics in Boston. Taking a look at the Celtics, they enter the conference semifinals looking very tough. A clean sweep in round one. They're hoping to carry that momentum into game one tonight. Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Stage of the Eastern Conference playoff battle begins here. Game one of the conference semifinals. Both these teams have survived and moved one step closer to the title. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter David Aldridge. Taking a look at Boston. Guys, win after win, they have been utterly dominant in the postseason. One sweep after another. And while I expect them to win this game and potentially win big, this is a team that really plays well on their home court. And if they do that, they can really set the tone for this series. Well, we'll see if they can capitalize. I mean, that's what you work hard all regular season for is to have the advantage of game one in your building. I'm with you there. I think you've got to give them the early nod as favor. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. The young stars, Simmons and Embiid at the four and five. Colts is out there with Contavious Caldwell Pope, and it's Covington in at the three. Now Fultz after Jason Tatum missed on that last three pointer, and it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. We're about one minute into the first. Here's Rain Man. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope in the corner. Tatum with it. Pass to Rain. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. Boy, it's a thing of beauty watching him attack the defense like that. I mean, they wanted no part of him on that layoff. Now, here's Caldwell Pope. Embiid sets the pick for Caldwell Pope. That shot, no good. On defense, Philadelphia. Out to the right wing. Here's Rain Man. From outside, off the mark. Now Caldwell Pope. He dishes it to Embiid. And Tatum pulls it down. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Here's Hayward. Goes straight to the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. That's on Ben Simmons. Yeah, I like how Tatum surveys the floor. Great at looking for his teammates, especially when they're open. The 76ers have gone 0-3 from the field to start the game. 
They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Right side, Simmons. Takes it to Embiid. Just five to shoot. Over Horford. The 76ers with another miss. They are 0 for the game thus far. 0 of 4 here. Still looking for their first mate. The 76ers trail by five. Covington kicks to Fultz. He feeds it to Simmons. Dishes it to Fultz. Pass to Embiid from 15 feet away. That one rolling around and rims out. And that's the shot you want to create. They just can't get it to fall. That's what I call an everything but good execution. Just didn't knock it down. But you're right. They're happy with that shot. Here's Rain Man. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. How about the head of steam he's able to generate right there and just gets to the rack really easy. You really don't want to allow him to get too comfortable, but even with stifling defense, he's going to still find a way to get it in the basket. Here's Simmons, and he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. i tell you what, when Simmons is taking it strong to the rack, he's looking for the contact and the foul. I love his aggressiveness. Philadelphia shooting their first free throw. First trip to the line in this one. That one misses. Celtics leading by six. Hayward kicks to Tatum. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Here's a look at the 2K leaderboard with the list of the best shooters during the postseason. Look at Rain Man leading the league in field goal percentage. He always gets good looks. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. It's Covington on the wing. Embiid against Horford. Now here's Covington. Defense right on him. The 76ers again can't hit it. When he's got that kind of position, he's got to score it. Got to score the ball from there. It's stolen by Fultz. There's the pick. Embiid the screen. Fultz kicks to Covington. Just five on the clock. Now in the scoring column with that deuce. One for two this game. And, you know, Covington really excels with the mid-range jump shot. Just looks like he's really comfortable rising up from there. Now, here's Horford. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Here's Rain Man. And down it goes, jamming that one home. Kevin, he is tough to stop when he gets to the rim. Yeah, great. He can get up a few notches higher. Well, and that's exactly how the game is played in the paint inside, guys. I mean, if you can play over the top, I think you've got a big advantage. Misses from close range. Boy, the defense was great. Superb, stellar, platinum level. Can't really contest that shot any better than that. Mm. And Horford pulls it down. And out of rhythm offensively, but he continues to work at it. Yeah, you know what? I think eventually he will find his rhythm because he is off right now, but all it takes is one hoop, and you're back in rhythm. Here's Fultz. After Gordon Hayward's bucket, Fultz kicks to Covington, feeds to Caldwell Pope. Stolen. The pass to Rogier. They set the screen. So the wing on the left. Out to Hayward. Six on the shot clock. Unloads from nine. Fouled in the act of shooting. A three-point play chance coming up. Aggressive coming out of the gate here, guys. Wow. Tone setting. That's what I call it. Grabbing this one by the throat early on and then squeezing it hard. In a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Boston. Guys, their penetration has been outstanding. I mean, it's actually been great. They're really finding those holes in the defense. 
Yeah, they're showing some muscle also in the first half as well and, and getting a lot of their points in the paint. Really like the balance they've shown. And Philadelphia decides to take their first timeout right here. Yeah, he, he's got to make some adjustments here. Just too easy to score in the lane against them right now. Yeah, there's no reason why they should be scoring at will down there easily as they have. I mean, they've got to be more aggressive inside. Now, here's Covington. Caldwell Pope for three. Gordon Hayward comes up with the rebound. Celtics leading by 11. Here's Rain Man. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it, Greg. They're tearing it up on the glass. No good from Simmons. Now that's what we're talking about in terms of the activity level defensively. You got to protect the rim. Mm -hmm. Textbook defense all around. Nice job at contesting the shot without fouling. And that's how you do it. Well done. Marcus Marks checked in for Rozier. Knights checked in for Philadelphia. Well, you like the confidence of Tatum. I mean, he enjoys tackling any challenge in front of him. Doesn't shy away. A true leader as a young player. Impressive. Now, here's Tatum. Here's Rain Man. And he uses the glass on the way. Rain Man's got 11 points. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Here's Knight. Volts kicks to Covington. Screen by Sharch to the paint. Here's Simmons. The 76ers with another miss. On offense, here are the Celtics. They're on a 19-3 run. Rain Man passes to Tatum. It's stolen by Fultz. Covington with it. Now defended by Hayward. Here's Simmons. And he lays it straight in. Outstanding focus that time by Simmons. Nothing really rattles this guy. He's unflappable, even when he's getting bodied by the defense like that. Here's Rain Man. 11 points in the game. Back to Horford. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. And the Celtics lead by 16. Methodical in their approach. They have absolutely owned this first quarter. And I tell you what, Greg, they've worked hard for this lead. Their play calling has been superb, and the execution even better. Now here's Simmons, and he can't bank that one in. Well, he's holding his team back. Really a hindrance. Can't make a thing. He's, he's way off today. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Greg, you're exactly right. I mean, everything seems to be dropping. Impressive scoring here. Here is Knight. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Nine feet out. And again, it's Penn Simmons. Boy, what skill from Simmons. I mean, so adept at reading the defense and exploiting them in the paint. This is a Durango. Hayward dishes to Horford. Basket counts. Horford's got his second bucket of the game to go. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. And the 76ers call time here. And when you take a look at that shot chart, the amount of misses lately, really unbelievable. Yeah, a lot of blanks there. Can't hit a thing. Has to be deflated. Austin making some changes. Andres Harrell, he's checked in for Horford. Marcus Morris comes in for Tatum. And it's Brown in for Gordon Hayward. Here's Whitney. Trying to find Knight and gets it to him. It's tipped. Here's the break. And stolen by Noel. Here's Luella. He's covered by Brown. Whitney misses. Celtics leading by 18. And here is Brown. And stolen by Noel. And now Philadelphia on the break. Outside night. Pass to Luau from deep. Rebounded by the Celtics. Rain Man's got three rebounds now in this one. And he 
makes that one. Brown's got his first bucket of the night. Hey, guys, that's just outstanding confidence from Brown. I mean, getting up with the shot right away and giving the defense no time to react. That's impressive. Now, here is Knight. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Over to the left wing. Now the pass to Witt. Clock at four. Step back shot. That's tipped. Now here's Smart. He's guarded by Knight. Smart passes to Rainey. 121 left in the first. Misses the lamp. He had him with that pump fake. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, I got a chance to talk to Brett Brown. You can put coach into that group of experts who think game one is the most important indicator of how a series is going to go. He said to take this opening game on the road doesn't just give us home court advantage. It puts us in the driver's seat from a mental perspective. Well, he's putting a lot into tonight, Kevin. We'll see if they can steal this one. Back to you. Thank you, David. The 76ers trailed by 21. Here's Lou Wallace. Screen by Sharch. Passes it to Whitney. Looking to end the drought. No good that time. Now the Celtics take it the other way. Here's Frame Man. The good-looking shot from the wing. Rain Man's got 13. You know, this quarter has been all him, all about him. They're getting it to him in his spots, and he's taking over. Pass to Luwawu. Knight for three. Buries the long-range jumper. Knight's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Celtics leading by 20. Pass to Rain Man. Picked by Harold. Here's Rain Man. He's covered by Whitney. Smart misses. And the foul on Marcus Smart. That's his first foul. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Yeah, it looked like it. I mean, he kind of slid underneath as he got to the spot, too. Don't usually see him shooting the three. Here's the three. What a play. Simply drains it in at the buzzer. And money to end the quarter there with the triple. They knew exactly what they wanted to do right there, Greg, and the timing was right on time. And so it's Boston controlling the game and finishing the quarter with a 20-point lead. Their defense has been terrific in this game. We come back right after this. Welcome you back to our presentation of Game 1. And guys, we've seen the Celtics really take control here. Just playing suffocating defense. That, that's been the difference here for them. You know, Greg, I love watching this team get after it on defense. I mean, they play with a bit of edge and nastiness. And so in the game for the 76ers, they've got Brandon Knight. Nerlens Noel is out there with Sharch. And it's Luwabu in at the small forward position. So it's Philadelphia now after Jalen Brown's miss. Knight on the wing, guarded by Smart. Back to Sharch, just five to shoot. Luwawu, off target from outside. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Morris with the bucket. An efficient score inside. Morris can beat you with a variety of moves. Whitney up top. Top of the key jumper, no good. Celtics leading by 22. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. The 76 is shooting only 21% from the field so far. There's the dish tonight. The pass to Luwam. Now the feed to Noel. And the shot is good, dropping in off the front of the rim. And, you know, when Noel gets the ball in a good spot, I mean, he pulls up with no hesitation, shoots it with a free mind. He loves taking the defense by surprise. Here's Rain Man. 
He's got 16. That one falls. Rain Man's got 18 points. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Knight grabs the board. Oh, great effort there. That's how you defend the paint. Exactly. Can't play it any better than that, Greg. Whitney misses. And just not able to find the target from three-point range here in the second quarter, although he did knock down one in the first. That one falls, his second basket of the game. He's now two for three. And some guys just have a nose for scoring. And this one couldn't have been any easier. Yeah, that was actually no defense at all there, Greg. I mean, layups don't come any easier than that. I mean, they're piling it on now. Here is Knight. Marcus Smart picking up that last basket. Whitney with it. Guarded now by Morris. It's stolen by Morris. And Morris throws it down. And you see Morris aware of his surroundings, getting a good jump down court. Special thanks to Under Armour for that sweet replay we just saw. Another Unleash Chaos moment. Wells is judging. A minute 42 left to play here in the second quarter. Whitney with it. Caldwell Pope outside. He kicks to Sharch. Over Tatum. Rocket six. Sharch, that's good. You know, the turnaround jumper, guys, is one of those shots that always just look so good. I mean, it's got that nice, smooth, singular motion. Sweet. Here's Rain Man. 18 points for him. Here's Horford. A three-pointer off the mark. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Knight with it. Now guarded by Tatum. A shot by Knight. No good. Austin's gotten half their shots from three-point range to go down in the second quarter. Three of six from downtown. A nice shot by Tatum. And boy, has he picked it up since the start of the second. His shot's now starting to fall. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need the basket. Whitney misses. And another miss. Oof. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. And I love the momentum he's building. Last game, he, he was just as dominant. Yeah, I concur. I mean, definitely on the roll right now. Seems like everything he's throwing up is going down. Shot and game clock separated by five. Back to Caldwell Pope. Charge inside. And slam dunk by Charge. Yeah, liking the vision there from Caldwell Pope. Looking to get his guys going when they're open. Here's Rain Man. Tries it from the top of the key. Again, the Celtics good for two. And that's what you give up when you don't fight over the screen. Yeah, I agree with you wholeheartedly. I mean, not a lot of effort. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime. Just... Thanks for joining us once more as we get set to continue our coverage of the Eastern Conference Semis. It's been a clinic out there by Rain Man. Oh, well, they've done a good job of letting the game come to them and really few four shots here so far. And, you know, Greg, I like how they've set the pace. There's a lot of time left in this one, so there's no rush. You don't have to go 70 miles an hour. Keep it at about 45. Well, we've got a moment. Let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade all fueled up for the second half on the court right now for the Celtics. They've got Horford. Hayward out there with Tatum. And it's Rain Man. And it's Rozier in at the point. Fultz kicks to Covington. Embiid the screen. And stolen by Hayward. Here's Rain Man. He dishes it to Hayward. Kicks to Tatum. Horford with a screen on Covington. Six on the shot clock. 
and there's the bucket from Tatum. Tatum's got 10 points. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, hey, they've been clearly the better team. Here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. MB wide open. Gets the jumper from the corner to fall. He's got six. Kevin, for a young player, I like the way Fultz sees the floor. He knows and feels when a guy is open. Here's Rain Man. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. And the first one drops. <laughs> And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. The 76 are shooting 40% from the field. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, guys, they call him Rain Man, and then the last game against the Hornets was outstanding. He ended up with 62 points, and as he always seems to do, piled up rebound after rebound. The stat line was filled, and the whole league is talking about it. We'll see what he does for an encore tonight, Kevin. Thanks, David. It was a performance that not many players are capable of. I know I won't forget it for a while, and you have to think he'll keep it rolling. Oh! oh. He can't let Simmons get going off of these dunks. I mean, his confidence just rises when he slams it down like that. Out of bounds, Philadelphia takes possession. Let's take this chance now to show you the list of the postseason scoring leaders. Look at Rain Man leading the league in points per game. Such a great player. Now, here's Fultz. Tight defense on him. He feeds it to Simmons. Dishes to Embiid, and Embiid throws it down. Boy, what's most impressive about Simmons is how he finds the open man so consistently at the vision, the unselfishness. That's what you want to see out of him. Rain man, and so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. He's made all three of his free throws so far. That's good from the rain man. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Defense! Defense! There's the screen. And Bede in the corner. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got five assists tonight. Everything going to plan here to start the third. 80% shooting thus far. No good from Raymond. Gotta give the defense credit. That was a great contest on a high percentage shot in the paint. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Well, I like the way Fultz attacks with confidence. He's excellent at making the defense commit. First trip to the line for him here. Both shots good from the strike. For Boston, they've gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the half. Horford with a screen on Caldwell Pope. Goes up off the pick. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. And a sturdy screen set for him that time. And he doesn't fool around. Just straight to the rim. For the no way for his man to get around that one. That's, that's for sure. No chance, Kevin. I mean, the screen was in the right spot. His feet were set. He would have had to go straight through him. And that's not legal. Boston's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. 5 of 12. Hayward on the wing. Here's Rain Man, and he has 28 points for the game. Off the pick. Oh! Oh, wow. Bringing the heat, the thunder, and the lightning on that pound. He's put on a show for these fans. I can't believe he pulled that one out in the course of an actual game. Well, when you know it, you got a show. Here's Embiid, and he uses the glass on the layup. Embiid's got nine points in the quarter. Really like seeing Embiid exert his will, be assertive here. I mean, getting whatever shot he wants inside. Passes it to Rozier. Here's Rain Man. 30 points in the game. Down to five on the shot clock. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. 
Embiid's got his third rebound on the night. Outside, Simmons. And basket number six to his stat sheet. He's now six for ten. Boy, I tell you, he has been light out. Sadly, they're still behind. He needs his guys to step up. A shot by Hayward, wide open. And again, Boston with the triple. Continuing to push the action. and.